you are the top team in kolkata regionals from that we got a spot in icpc he is a two time icpc finalist like some of the best coders in the world were over there like seeing them was bit intimidating actually we did really well we were the best performing team in india so he was working at google as a senior software engineer i mean i started coding in college only i was into math since my childhood so what is the typical uh, road map how can they get started into this competitive coding you will be able to get to the interviews relatively easily if you are how many of you know about icpc so it's a coding competition that typically happens across the world different people represent their colleges in that conference he has actually went to represent india there twice once in thailand and once in us we'll talk a bit about that as well today uh, but firstly yeah so venkatesh uh, you can briefly share your work experience like you know after uh, your btech at iit bombay like uh, where all you worked uh, how did it go what's your experience you can briefly share about that yeah i completed my btech in computer science from iit bombay in like 2017 after that like i worked at microsoft for a year and a half as an ml engineer and then i moved on to google worked as software engineer i worked there about like 3 and a half years and then i wanted to try out startups like in a very fast paced environment and that is when i moved to a startup called zerex people like been working there since t- more than 2 years now leading all the engineering efforts and like yeah everything else that is required to run a startup so you can probably share like you know typ- what is a coding contest how is it different or you know you can share a bit about that so typically competitive programming context contests have like a very uh, specific problem with specific constraints which you are expected to solve using like some sort of computer code uh, like there will be set of inputs that your code will be tested against uh, which they expect to produce a certain output right so uh, like there are various difficulties in the level of problems that are posed in this contest um, but yeah like basic uh, to give like a basic understanding it's mostly about solving uh, problems using computer code so like that's what a programming contest a competitive programming contest looks like great uh, so yeah i hope you you have understood what a coding typical coding contest looks like yeah so uh, probably you can share how you have started your journey with icpc and uh, you can briefly give an introduction about what icpc is uh, how you got into it and uh, your journey uh, you can probably share a bit about that yeah i mean i started coding in college only when i joined like in computer science uh, like never did coding before that uh, in my second year of college like one of my seniors introduced me to this icpc basically it's like you can think of like an olympics of uh, competitive programming uh, where there are multiple stages like uh, teams like it's a team event like it's a three member team event where teams around the world compete in it um there are multiple stages where like first you need to qualify amongst indian teams like there are five to six teams that are chosen for the international contest and then like from every country there are few teams are selected and all of them finally compete in a international stage so yeah i mean my journey has been like i started in my second year like i was into math since my childhood so it like when i got to know about it it uh, it was very enticing and like attracted me so i started doing it uh, like out of interest and uh, yeah i mean i started solving my first question was on like spodge uh, uh, and then like i did some things on code forces and then when i started doing i realized like i don't know a lot of things um, then i started looking out for blogs tutorials started learning them on my own um, and also i had some peers who were also interested um, in like who are also in the similar track so we collaborated and we used to learn together and we ourselves formed a team like uh, because we have been working together only uh, even before that so we formed a team and in our third year we did apply to this icpc like initially there will be an online contest where like a lot of all teams most teams around india just compete in an online contest for about 5 hours uh, and then the top teams get selected to a regionals uh, we got selected in that and there are like three four regionals i don't know now they might have changed there are, there might be a lot more regionals at, at our time there were like three amritapuri kolkata and kanpur so uh, 
um yeah we got we 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 were the top team in kolkata regionals from that we got a spot in icpc um uh, yeah like we didn't really perform really well in our first icpc world finals we were very tensed <laughs> it was uh like it, like some of the best coders in the world were over there like seeing them was a bit intimidating and like yeah we were very tensed and like we didn't perform really well in our first world finals and in our fourth year we did a- apply again and then we went through two world finals the second time as well and uh, second time actually we did really well we were the best performing team in india um, like we were ranked like 30th overall like uh, <laughs> but yeah we were the best performing team in india like we solved the most number of problems as well so yeah it was a great experience like meeting the the scorers over the world and like like trying to compete uh, like at the highest scale so what is the typical you know uh, road map how can they get started into this competitive coding okay how can they probably be good at it what is the path yeah so i think like first uh, just get get your hands dirty try out uh, like a few problems on like online judges like spaws or code forces like very basic problems uh, like if you have some basic understanding of how a computer code works like how a program runs like you should be able to solve like, like the easiest problems that typically like adding two numbers adding like which are in string format or something like that right so they are very straight forward it's just about you understanding uh, how a computer code works right so like start from there um um yeah and then slowly pick up like slightly harder problems like uh so when you start doing that what you'll notice is there are some concepts or like some specific techniques that are used to solve problems which you might have never like, come across all of them are just logical like you can like out of the box if you think very hard you might be able to come up with them but these techniques will help you like uh they, they'll give you a framework to solve these problems right so basically um yeah like start with easy problems uh very trivial problems which just requires coding knowledge and then start doing slightly harder problems uh that is when you'll come across uh you will get to know that you need concepts other than just coding right like you'll need like something like called binary research or like some use of arrays or maps or right stuff like that uh once you start doing that yeah you'll get to understand how algorithms actually work and why why uh they are done the way they are right so then you'll slowly understand like what is the time complexity what is the space complexity like how do you optimize for them and yeah uh then you can get further and like solve m- more harder problems right uh like it's like a w- vast ocean like as you keep getting into it like you'll uh you can just keep doing it at like uh, like the top coders today like a tourist or someone right like they still keep learning and coding till this date so it's like an ocean so just enjoy the process um get started um uh, um uh, yeah get your hands dirty <laughs> got it yeah so venkatesh you can probably share uh, let's say if if you take code forces as a platform uh, you know there is this thing called r- rating uh, coding rating for any programmer so how does that work and how can one improve on that you can probably share a brief about that yeah so rating works like in like similar to an elo system which uh, which is used in chess also like other uh, competitive sports also use them like online games uh it's basically elo is nothing but how uh probable is it that you will be ranked higher than another person so your ra- rating is calculated based on that like uh so like initially you will start with like some 1500 or so uh in code forces and then like as you give competitions and you uh, like there are contests like very regularly like div 2 div 1 contests like initially you will start in a division 2 and uh Uh, or three maybe like uh, they might have changed now so uh yeah you start giving those contests and then like you as you keep performing well uh, and getting higher ranks in those contests your rating will increase and there are multiple levels like uh after a certain rating you'll become a candidate master after after that you'll become a master you'll become after that you'll become a grand master um after that there is something called legendary grand, grand master like there are some levels to um like ratings in code forces so yeah like in india i think there isn't any legendary grandmaster like there are grandmasters i think at this point <laughs> so 
yeah it's like uh very fun uh like once you start getting into it and uh, like keep learning new things and uh being in that community like code for us also has a good community support right like people do ask questions there and people do uh help others and all that so yeah like um these are the rating levels and then as you keep growing and like keep getting better at it you'll uh get some uh titles <laughs> to the to your profile in code forces so yeah so i'll, I'll just share uh, uh you know a background about what he just uh, what vengresh has just shared so he was working at google as a senior so- uh, software engineer and then uh, prasanna reached out to him uh, so prasanna is co-founder uh, is a cto of rippling so rippling is i think over 10 billion valued now so 10 billion means you can think of like you know 80000 crores it's a us based company he's the cto of that company so he reached out to venkatesh he messaged that you know uh, he probably is looking to hire him uh, for his company okay the reason being like you know he mentioned he you know it is mentioned on his linkedin profile that he's a two time world finalist icpc finalist okay and that's how he got into Uh, he got that startup opportunity and in fact now he is the director of engineering he is the head of engineering team the tech team over there okay and uh, yeah so and not just that in fact one uh, you know uh, one thing that i just got to know uh, when i was talking to venkatesh today is that in fact at their company zurex people uh, so they hire people who are only i mean more, more one of the important criteria is that the candidate should be a world finalist icpc world finalist right so in, i think their tech team is very lean like you know it's hardly around 20 people uh, from what he was saying so so they have a very very high bar you know on whom they hire you can imagine like all the team members in their office are just you know world finalists you can think how it looks like so primarily uh, that okay so one thing that we wanted to cover up on today is like let's say right now you have just started your uh, you know programming journey so for someone like you uh, we wanted to give you an idea of what you can do to start your journey in competitive programming okay right uh, i think we, uh, i think you got uh, a good idea of how you can start one thing is you can probably good look into platforms like code forces or spoj etc you can just start start solving some basic problems with whatever you already know you will be able to solve uh, you know easy problems good number of easy problems okay and as you build more knowledge you will be able to solve even you know then medium level problems then hard problems etc right so uh, like uh, how will you know being good at competitive programming or like you know how will being good at this can help them apart from let's say okay they might get good rating they might uh, get a status on uh, you know they might become a uh, master or grand master etc but in general how will it help uh, in their career path directly yeah i mean one is like um, the interview opportunities like that definitely helps but even if you remove all that right like if you do not consider all that even if not for that like uh, the process of like thinking logically and uh, like coming up with a concrete solution which solves problems is like very essential like uh, in real world also as well right so at least like competitive programming gives you a structure okay these are the set of algorithms these are the set of data structures of course they are vast but still it's still a defined structure uh, which you can use to solve problems right uh, like that definitely prepares you to like real world where like problems are much vaguer uh, like uh, the things that you can apply are much vast right so like getting started here like getting doing really good here helps you get prepared for like solving the real world problems like where uh, you have to think out of the box and like come up with really creative solutions right so yeah the structured thinking and like um, concretely coming up with solutions to problems is something really useful even if not for the uh interview opportunities got it so yeah one is directly for the interview opportunities you will be able to get to the interviews relatively easily if you are you know if you have a really good rating in code forces or if you are good at competitive coding and not just that i think even in doing the performing well in the interviews also this will help a lot so typically if i have to from my experience if i have to share about let's say if i have to compare the difficulty of 
coding rounds of you know these tech companies and you know uh, the contests in you know code forces or etc so i think this would be even tougher than the typical interviews yeah. right so if you are doing well in the uh, coding contests etc then the actual interviews will be relatively easier compared to this so you'll be able to much easily clear the interview rounds okay and uh, yeah so uh, that's all i think majorly uh, the thing that we wanted to share with you